Hello everyone, welcome back again to SBG tutorial. My name is Dr. Flash. Um, we're having a problem on the board on TVD vectors, okay? But in this um, problem, I call the topic TVD vector moments because to solve this problem, we have to apply our knowledge of moments on TVD vectors, okay? The question says, replace the loading shown by an equivalent single resultant force and specify the X and Y coordinates of its line of action. That is, we're having um, forces, we're having forces 400 Newton, 500 Newton, and 100 Newton acting on this plane, okay? And you're seeing the um, dimensions Z, Y, and X direction dimensions, okay? They want us to replace with just a single force. That is, we're going to place a force on this um, plane such that it will produce the same effect as this we're having 500, 400, and 100 Newton acting on the plane. And also specify the direction, that is, the distance of that force from the Y axis, from the X axis, and um, we can't determine the distance from that force to the Z axis because it's on the plane or except you want to make use of um, geometry or particular theorem to join to the plane which will not be doing this particular problem but we might as well talk about that in our future videos now to find um, the resultant force first of all you can see that some of the forces are acting upward and some of them are acting downward so solution to find the resultant force first okay to find the resultant force we can see that this force vector is acting upward that is positive so we're having 100 newtons this one is going down that is a uh, minus 400 newtons and then this one is just going down we have minus 500 newtons now what will be the next resultant force minus 400 minus 500 is minus 900 um so 100 minus 900 newtons that will give you a total value of um that is minus 800 newtons now this minus 800 newtons is simply telling us that the next force is going downward okay so um yes the next force is going down so i can also write this as 800 newtons and then i'll put an r sign to tell you that it is going down that is into the plane now the next thing we want to do if the force 800 newtons is let's say somewhere here this is not the middle of the plane okay take note this is not the center we're just seeing it's somewhere here on the plane and um the distance this is the x axis and the distance of that vector to the x axis is um let's say we don't know it let's call it y because the distance to the x axis is uh, measured in terms of y that is here to here and then i would rather use this um denote this guy as a broken line and then to this part we get x now the next we want to do this is the resultant force going into the plane Next, we want to do is take moments about this axis. Now, first of all, you need to know how to mix up the right hand rule. The right hand rule in terms of 3D vectors, okay? If I'm having my right hand and I position it like this, the cord finger tells us the direction of the force, and then my thumb gives me the direction of the moment. Now, if I place it on this wire axis, any force entering into the plane like this in terms of the wire axis produces a positive moment, and anyone going outside or going into the um, plane like in this direction gives us a negative moment and then for the x axis if i position my right hand like this any um force that is going that is um that will cause the plane to rotate like this will produce a positive moment and anyone that's causes it to rotate like this produces a negative moment so take note of that now the first thing we want to do is take uh, the moment about the x axis so if we take the moment about the x axis remember the rule the right hand rule starting with the forces um the resultant force fr which is going into the plane what type of moment is it going to produce pause this video and think about it and um if you've, if you've thought about it you can play the video so we can um you can check if your answer is correct now the force is going into the plane so remember any force going like this will produce a positive moment but the force is going like this so it's going to cause the plane to rotate in the other direction produces, which produces a negative moment so i'm going to have um minus 800 okay take note the minus does not come from this the guy it comes from the fact that the moment is in the opposite direction minus 800 times the distance to the x axis which is y and that will be equal to um the moment that will be created by the other forces now let's check for this force um 500 force now this guy will produce a moment that will go into the plane and remember if, we, if i place my right hand like this the um moments for this will be positive if the force is in this other direction as if it's outward but in this one we're having found you going to the place so we have a negative moment so we're going to have uh, equals minus 500 times the distance to the x plane that is in this case we have four meters times four and then going to the next force again 400 
Newton is going to the plane. Okay, since it's going to the plane, we're going to have a negative moment. So that is minus 400 times um, 4 meters. Now, before we solve for y, you check for the 100 newtons. I'm not going to make use of it. The reason is because this guy is just in line of the point or the attics in which you are taking the moment about. Whenever you are taking moment about an attics and a force cuts through that attics, okay? A force cuts through that axis produces a moment of zero on that axis. Now, for this case, we are having a zero moment. Um, that is the value of the moment here is um, zero. Or I can simply write zero as the value of moment. But no need to write because it's just wasting our time so from here we we'll simplify we have minus 800 y and that will equal this is um two thousand minus two thousand minus um eight thousand six hundred and from there minus cancels out of true so we have y to equal two thousand plus one six zero zero divided by eight hundred okay so to get the value of y i'll simply make it of my calculator that will be two thousand plus 160 um 1600 um, divided by 800 newtons i'll give 4.5 meters so the value of y is 4.5 meters and then to get the value of x i'm going to take moments about the other axis now you should know that if i'm taking moments about x i'll get the value of y and if i'm taking moments about y i'll get the value of x so if i'm taking moments about Point y okay remember the right hand rule it still holds true take a moment about the um y now the resultant force is still going to the plane now what are moments will this cause for this y as x let's check since if i have my right hand like this any force that's going to the plane causes a positive moment in that direction it means this guy is going to cause a positive moment so we're going to have um a value of 800 remember moments is forced and perpendicular distance so the distance to the y axis we don't know which is x multiplied by x will equal now for the um other forces let's check for this 500 newton force it's going to the place where so you have a positive moment so we have 500 times um, the distance to this plane remains four newton and um, four meters rather okay and then for the next force we're having a force of 100 newtons which is going outward and it is going against the cord fingers okay since it's going against the cord fingers, cord fingers it will produce a negative moment that is 100 times the perpendicular distance which is 3 uh, meters from the y axis so we're going to have a negative moment that is minus 100 times the distance in this case is um theory okay and then um the first 400 is just in line on the axis we're taking moments of so it produces a moment of zero okay zero newton meters rather so from here we can simplify we get 800 x will equal this um 2000 minus 300 that will give us the value of x as um it's thousand seven hundred divided by eight hundred. Okay, so if I should solve that using my calculator, one thousand seven hundred, um, one thousand seven hundred divided by eight hundred. That will give me a value of two point one two five. Okay, a value of x, which will be two point one two five meters. So we can see the um the way in which you apply the right hand rule to solve questions and if you see the question the question did not mention it about moments but since we know we have to apply um knowledge of moments to solve a problem like this here we have the resultant force directed into the plane and the distance to the x as x is given as 4.5 meters distance to the um on the y is 4.5 meters and on the x axis we have um 2.125 meters so that is how we solve problem on moments okay and um, in this case we have a 3d moment so the key factor is to know how we make use of our right hand rule. Our right hand rule is saying, let me state it again, it's saying that if we have our right hand and some fingers are cord, that is I'm positioning my right hand like this, the direction of the cord fingers, if it shows the direction of the force, then the moment is given as the direction of our thumb, okay, of which I apply this into this um, problem or seen on the boards to get our answers. Now there's a very engineering problem you can see on the screen, okay, still on 3D vector moments. I would like you guys to attempt this question and drop your answer in the comment section at the end of the day or in our next video i'm going to solve that problem and then you see how well you've done in understanding um uh, tvd moment vectors or if you've studied tv moment vectors before you know if you are good to go in any examination and then in our next video like i said we'll talk about it and then you see if your answers are correct also do not forget pull your comments um your answers in the comment section and our video We'll take the answer. See you in the next video. Exclusive tutorial. Always got to cover. My name is Mr. Flash. God bless.